हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रेडियल बेसिस फंक्शन नेटवर्क इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म इट इज़ नोन एज आर बी एफ एन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क इट इज़ द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क इट इज़ बेसिकली अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ फीड फॉरवर्ड न्यूरल नेटवर्क दैट मीन्स इट इज़ अ वेरियंट ऑफ थ्री लेयर फीड फॉरवर्ड न्यूरल नेटवर्क सो we can say that an rbfm perform classification by measuring the input similarities to example from the training set and each rbff neurons start a prototype which is just one of the example from the training set and when we want to classify a new input arrived we have each neuron compute the euclidean distance between the input and the prototype then if the input more closely resemble the class a prototype then the then the class b prototype it is classified as class a or this architecture shows the typical architecture of an rbfn network in this diagram there is a input vector arrived at this point and it consists of an input layer rbfm neurons hidden layer and the output layer a r layer of rbf neurons and output layer with one node per category or class of data so we see the network layer by layer so the first layer is the input layer the input vector is basically an n dimensional vector like this the entire input vector is shown to each of the rbf neurons the second layer is the rbf neurons that means hidden layer each rbf neurons store a prototype vector which is just one of the vector from the training set and each rbf neuron compare the input vector to its prototype and output a value between 0 and 1 which is a measure of basically a similarity that means if the input is equal to the prototype then the output that responds to the from the rbf neuron will be 1 and if the distance between input and prototypes grow the response fall off and exponentially towards the 0 so the shape of rbf neuron response is a bell curve like this now the question arises what is a bell curve bell curve is just a normal distribution function is used to describe a graphical depiction of probability distribution whose underlying standard deviation from the mean create the curved bell shape it is basically a symmetric curve and it is also known as the graph of a gaussian distribution with a large round peak tapering away at each edge so this is the bell curve now we return back to the topic the neuron response value are also called the activation value the prototype vector is also often called the neurons center since its the value is at the center of bell curves now we arrived at the output layer this is also known as the transfer function that means the output of the new network consists of a set of nodes and one no per category that we are trying to classify and each output node compute a sort of score for the associated category like category a category b up to category c typically a classification decision is made by assigning the input to the category with the highest score and the score is computed by taking a weighted sum 
all the links are have the weights so the weighted sum of the activation values from every rbf neurons and by weighted sum what do you mean by that means an output node associate a weight value with each of the rbf neurons and multiply the neurons activation by this weight before adding it to the total response because each output node is computing the score for different categories and every output node has its own set of weights and the lastly the output node will typically give a positive weight to the rbf neuron that belongs to the category and return a negative weight to the other categories there are several advantages of using radial basics function neural network like uh, it have it is a very fast learning speed gaussian function is used as a transfer function and it is used in wide variety of applications like commonly used for regression like reg uh, logistic regression or linear regression in different methods of classification pattern recognition and time series of forecasting problems so this is all about the radial basic function network in next lecture we will discuss the next type of neural network so this is all for today thank you so much